Hey guys, I'm back with a new video and I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a manga page or a manga. And here's a page I did in Medibang. And here's another one. So I don't know any other program that makes it super easy to make a manga page. So I'll just start off by making a new uh, comic. You can go for comic, but I just... And they have, I'm pretty sure, yeah, they have templates for you to use, but I just make my own. And this is the, the pixel size I use. And we'll use color. And yeah, that's basically it. It's what your page can look like. This is a custom page, of course. And um, this is what I see a lot of people use. They use this uh, tool, right? And you can do this, but this is just like, but the option Medibang has for you is just a lot easier. So, okay, I'm gonna delete that. Oops, I'm gonna delete that layer. So make sure you're on a new layer. So I'm just gonna call it uh, borders or edge, whatever, for the panel. And you wanna go to, right here, to layer and add panel material. And this is what the thickness of the line will be. I'm gonna make it, I'm just gonna make it 10. And yeah, this is what you can do. So now what you can do with this option is you can make, you can, oops, you can um, split the, yeah, you can split it into panels like that. And you can change these little options, makes it for the space in between, like that. Um, if you wanted to do it at an angle, alright, let's see, hold shift and then hold, and then, and then let go, like that. Mine is very close, so. Oops, I need to make that wider. The canvas is so big, that's why, uh, that's why it's very close. So make sure you, this is... Because this canvas is a uh, 1200 by 1700, so that's probably why it's not. It's not. All right. So now that I showed you how to make a panel, um, oh, there's an option right here, operation tool, and it's just for these panels. So if you wanted to make like this, oops, if you wanted to make this, you know, uh, some panels bigger than the other ones. There you go. And don't click X, it'll delete it. Just uh, if you're done with using this uh, tool, you just click on another tool. So it's the operation tool, this one, to change the size of the panels. And I, I don't know what divide tool right here, these two. So yeah, make sure this is on a new layer before you start and click off. So now I'm going to show you how to use uh, screen tones, like the screen tones I used here for the trees. I didn't, I was a little too lazy to add more, but I just added them to the trees. So I'll show you how to do that. Um, oops, wrong one. So what I usually start off is coloring the base of The panel, like let's say this area is going to be gr whatever color it is, it's going to be. And you just make it that color. So if you wanted a screen tone right here, just make a new layer on top, clipping group, and then go to this option right here, this little bubble, and this little tab pops up. So you have a lot you can use. I'll use the same. Actually, I'll use a different one. This one's pretty cool. Thunder. And you you just... Oops. I'll show you that again. A hold and then drag and then drop. And that's how you do it. And right here, it will ask you if you want to rotate. You can go ahead and rotate. Zoom in and out. To fit the... To fit the... Thingy. To fit the panel, what I see a lot of people do is they use the, like, the selection tool. And that's fine, you can use the selection tool, but it's just like, 
distracting. Uh, um, what you could do is, like let's say, you fill in, you make obviously make sure it's not on the same layer, um, fill in everything, and then when you're done filling on the spots, areas where you want to add your screen tone, you'll just, you'll just drop, add and drop later like that, just like, easier like that. Um, ooh, you can add more things here, uh, like back to this bubble, the material thing. Thought, oh, new layer. Make sure it's on a new layer. So, speak web is like this. And you can make them bigger, smaller, whatever. That. It's pretty cool, it's pretty, you can do a lot of things with it. Like there's more material, material things you, fuck. There's more material things you can use in Medibang. So yeah, I'm just showing you the basics. Um, I always, yeah, when you're done using this, just uh, click off click off of it and now for text um medibang has its own set of text like use cloud use cloud text rendering that's their text and stuff they have and a lot of this is in japanese so it's hard to watch your it's like they have like um they have all sorts of interesting text you can use is like this is, this could be a comic text couldn't be if you don't have one like comic text you can just like go download it online like wait i'm looking for this really cool one they have i don't know i don't know where it is like this one's cool that's pretty cool like this one is expressive like there could be like so yeah you can use their text or you can just use your own. I'll show you this comic uh, text I use for this. Oh, comic book, comic Sam. Oh, and if you wanted to add a outline, make sure this pixels is on, not, not on zero, and that's how you use it. Okay, bubbles. Um, if you want speed lines, and they have those, uh, screen tones in there for you. And, yeah, that's it. So, I hope you can make your manga page or comic. That's what I did to make mine. It was super easy using it with this program. So, that's all for this video. Bye!